Hello everybody, this is Alex from Centaurus Computers again and today I'm going to be doing a little quick review of uh, motherboard. It's ASRock uh, 970A chipset, uh, the model 970A G 3.1. Uh, 3.1 means it has got USB 3.1. It's a fine motherboard for AMD socket, uh, for pretty much any AMD like FX processors. Uh, we like it a lot because uh, it brings new features uh, to the playing field and uh, it's generally reliable, it looks good, uh, it offers a lot of options, uh, good BIOS, uh, good layout. Uh, so uh, let me get to the inside of the box and show you what's inside. But before we do that, uh, let's see what's on the back. Sometimes they give you some useful information here. So it shows here USB 3.1. Uh, type A and Type C, which is nice. Uh, like for newer phones, you can connect directly to the motherboard, uh, and you know you can like plug it in upside down, which is a nice feature. We've been waiting a long time for that. Uh, supports 220 watt uh, processors, uh, so you can use 9590 and uh, 9370 processors with it. Although you got to be careful, uh, you need really good cooling the motherboard chipset to use those processors and we generally advise to use uh, uh, 990FX motherboards for that. Uh, ELNA audio caps uh, uh, provides better sound, full spike protection, live update, that's for the BIOS, 8 plus 2 power phase design which is not bad for a regular 970 motherboard. Uh, what else? I.O. Uh, air armor. Well, it's just a piece of plastic. Uh, it makes motherboard look much better. Uh, high density glass fabric, PCB, it means it's durable. Supports DDR3 up to 2400 speeds, which is nice. Solid capacitor design, it's common these days and it's good. And uh, M.2 socket, uh, supports PCI Express Gen 2 X4 up to 20 gigabit per second. That's something that puts this, this motherboard aside from other 970s, uh, like older ones. I mean, you can use high speed M.2 SSD drives, which are still expensive, but they're gonna get cheaper in time. And those are really nice to have, uh, and this motherboard allows you to use them. So that's it for the box, and let's get inside and see what's there. Inside the box, SATA cables, just two of them. Uh, that's a panel for rear uh, input output connections. Manual with the disk, download new drivers from internet, it's gonna be much better. Uh, little screw for M.2 drives. And now the motherboard itself. Let's see. Good protection here. looks really really nice black and red color and it really catches eye and uh, we really like the layout of that motherboard as well uh, except for a few little nitpicks like that USB 3.0 port here it should really be on this side because it's it's just not fun routing USB 3.0 cable to this location otherwise you see big nice heat sinks here which is a really nice touch usually those motherboards uh, come without them uh, and you see those on mostly like high-end 970s. Uh, another big heat sink here. Uh, okay, fan connectors. Uh, chassis fan 4, CPU fan 2, CPU fan 1. So two CPU fans can be connected. Um, that's regular case fan here, another case fan, another case fan. Uh, so it's gonna be like one two, three, three case fans and two CPU fans, five total, uh, which is really nice. You can see that piece of plastic, that's what they call I.O. shield, uh, makes motherboard look nice. Uh, PCI Express slot all over, just one regular PCI slot. Uh, dual PCI Express 16x, and gonna, they're gonna work at uh, 8x speeds if you use Crossfire. Here is your M.2 slot and you can install all different sizes here using the screw provided. Uh, support for up to 32 gigabit mem gigabyte memory, uh, four slots, so you can use four sticks here, regular AM3 Plus slot. Uh, there are six SATA uh, connectors, and the rest is 
pretty basic. Same as on all of different motherboards uh, from the same socket. It's nothing special here other than what I have listed. And it does say here USB 3.1. And if you look at those ports, that's your Type C USB 3.1. Uh, that's regular 3.1 and uh, 3.0 and other two ports. And so it's eight total. Uh, USB ports here and um, optical audio which is really nice touch on the back simple it's all black looks nice uh, you can see that little trace here that separates audio from the rest of the motherboard uh, so uh, it eliminates some interference uh, with the audio which is really nice as well so that's it for the motherboard and I um, hope you like it uh, please rate our video subscribe to our channel uh, these motherboards we are using in uh, computers like uh, Area, Area 2. Uh, it's pretty much uh, the most common uh, 970 motherboards for most of the AMD uh, based configurations. So let us know you, if you like it, if you like that motherboard or not. Uh, please give us your comments. Uh, we'll be happy to answer any of your questions. That's it for now. Have a great day.